This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have code cards from a huge variety of sets, so definitely check it out, PokeTownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up YouTube, it's Zadox TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. Today it's time to check out the Bird Trio. That's right, the second place winning list of the Malaysia Regionals, actually the Kualua, <laughs> Kuala Lumpur Regionals. I Hopefully I could pronounce that correctly, I don't know uh, if that is the correct pronunciation or not, but let's get it on. We of course have uh, Muhammad Sihami Abdul Razak. He got second place at this Regionals with an interesting take on ADP. ADP with green, we already know what greens does. Taking two trainer cards, if we don't play abilities, we don't play Jirachi, we don't play Absol, we're just going straight with ADP. And ADP, of course, with Ultra Creation GX, you should know by now. Taking additional prize cards is good, doing extra damage is good. Ultimate Ray can also get energies onto our Pokemon, and in this list, we also run Moltres, Zapdos, and Arikuno. How do we get this one going? Well, glad you asked. We are going to be running Victini here with Victory Sign. That means we can uh, search your deck for two different types of energies and attach them to our Pokemon in any way we like. That not only means we can just get energies onto ADP through use Ultra Creation GX. Sometimes we want to be going for Sky Legends GX and that can smack 110 damage to three of the opponent's Pokemon. So uh, that is going to be very uh, detrimental uh, against a lot of these uh, one prize decks. Let's say they have Inke, Inke, Jirachi. Well, if we can get this off early as possible, bam, they're all gone. So that is an option we can go for. Also, this card has a whopping 300 HP. And with, uh, yeah, Picaram not being as popular as it was, this is uh, not too bad of a weakness. Lightning weakness, 300 HP is insane. So uh, we also have uh, one copy of Cryogonal in here just for the item lock. We have, of course, Chandler that removes all effects of attacks on you. That means uh, if we are in an item lock, we smack Chandler and uh, we're out of that item lock because we're going to try and... Uh, yeah, uh, spam the reset stand, three copies of that in combination with power plan, easy searchable thanks to the greens engine can slow down any mutual list or abilities art or whatsoever, any heavy uh, yeah, relying uh, deck on abilities, so let's say a mutual deck that likes to uh, run perfection, well too bad we have power plan smacked around if they don't have their marsh header they're done for, so in any kind of version of greens we're gonna of course have uh, the coach trainer since we have a lot of these tag teams to go around, we have ADP and of course our bird trio, so nice to see Zapdos uh, finally see some love here although it's in the, in the form of a tag team i still appreciate it no, nevertheless we have custom catchers one great catcher we have of course the energy spinner uh if we go second we can get a lot of energies into our hand tilling out the deck and we do need faba uh because uh there's a uh, caldeos popping around here and there and then we can get rid of kyle as well and then smack our own power plant that is the main strategy here to go uh, against those guys and we also have choice helmet to reduce damage done to us so a very defensive adp greens list with a lot of energies to go around we have lightning energies fire energies water energies and metal type energies we'll see how it goes but this list got second and it also got 14 if i'm not mistaken so there was uh, two people that got into day two which is insane uh take on uh yeah the uh ADP with birds. <laughs> I'm uh, very curious to see if we can get it working on the TCG Online program. I'll see how it goes. We're up against Malamar. So, uh, oh, actually, we're up against Azul. Woo! Okay. Against Azul. That means we're gonna have to wait and see how this turns out. We're gonna go first. Do we use ADP in this scenario or do we go with the bird trio? Okay, our hand is not looking too bright, although we do have two tackles, so at least we got that going for us. Also, we uh, are gonna have a hard time getting this out of the active position, if I think about it. Three retreat costs. How is this uh, person doing so well with this kind of a list? We'll have to wait and see. Mallow and Lana can also swap ourselves out of the active position. So uh, maybe we can use Tackle to uh, get ourselves a Mallow and Lana's together with something else. We'll see how it goes. Okay, it is Tina Chomp. We have a Greens as well. First things first, I'm going to get a yeah, tackle going around. Okay, this is uh, Tina Chomp. This is something else. Okay, ADP and Cynthia and Catelyn. That's for sure. This is also a list that likes to stamp, so that is also very, very dangerous. Okay, we have to see here. We have all the energies that we need. If we can get the ADP attack off, we only need to knock out one tag team, and he has to resort to only two Ms. Magus. Okay, item lock is also a thing with Craig and all. All right, with Tackle we can get, do we have, yeah, with Greens, we can Green now for uh, another Pokemon. So maybe Mellow and Lana, Green for another Pokemon. Yeah, let's get these two first. 
and then we're gonna smack down a green. Do we smack down green? I know how this list works. So uh, first things first, I'm gonna go with the energy spinner, getting ourselves good old lightning energy or maybe a metal type energy is even better to get the ADP attack off as quickly as possible. So let's get the energy, ta-da, smacking down ADP, getting that metal type energy in there. Next up, uh, do we use a tackle? I don't, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go for a green first and see what we can get from that. Custom catchers could be nice to target Pokemon. We have a communication and uh, yeah, we even have switch. So switch and communication could have been a better option, but we can not attack just yet. So I'm gonna go for a switch and communication for now. And then afterwards, uh, once we're done, we can get our, of course our Victini up and rolling. Or maybe choice helmet, why not? Choice helmet could help. Is this going to be the wheezing build? If it's the wheezing build, we are in for some trouble, I guess. Okay, we have switch, we have choice helmet up and ready. Ta -da. We can always use the GX move there, but I think I'm gonna switch. Uh, I, he could stamp me, right? He could do that. So I'm gonna go for a switch while we're at it. And uh, we could go for tackle, I'm not afraid to use it. So we're gonna get, we already have a Cynthia and Catelyn, so Mellow and Lana and another Pokemon. Seems to be fine as it is. Next turn, we're just gonna go for Ultra Creation GX and see how we go from there. He has, of course, the option to use Weezing and Roxy, if is uh, the case. He's gonna say like, wow, this is uh, a crazy build. Well, this guy can actually smack a lot of damage. That's 240 with the added effect. So 240 will take down a lot of these guys. So we'll see how it goes. If we still had Choice Band in the format, we could have smacked for even uh, 270, which would have been way better. Yeah, this guy is uh, also having a huge amount of HP, so that's actually uh, good for us, because this guy only smacks 240. He could get his wheezing up and rolling, but we'll see how that turns out for him. We're gonna attach that Water Energy and go for Ultra Creation, because I do believe that uh, getting a KO on the tag team will help us out in the end. He's gonna go for a green. This is Azul we're up against, a very skillful player as we know, one of the best in the world. And uh, I will see how he gets. Maybe Treasure and Dust Stone, or is he gonna go for something else? We're not gonna bench a lot of Pokemon down. That means his coughing and wheezing will not hurt us too much. And we do have Mallow and Lana, which we can spam with Cynthia and Calvin. So we'll see. Lieutenant Surge and a Treasure. That means if he can get out uh, his little Misdreavus, he's gonna give us a, a prize card because he's gonna go for Dust Stone and all that. So maybe that turns out okay for us. He could stamp us right now. But we already have that metal energy attached and we still have lots of water energy in our deck. Okay, rainbow energy and linear attack going onto our benched um, birch trio. Okay, that's cool. Energy over there. Do we use the green or do we use the uh, Cynthian Catlin? Hmm. In this instance, I don't think we'll need anything specific. I think I'm gonna go for Cynthian Catlin. We can then recover a green. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. I think I'm gonna get rid of... Hmm, this Pokemon. I'm gonna get rid of the green since we get a green back, so it's cool. I'm just drawing three cards for now. Da -da -da -da. There's a power plant which we can smack down if we want to. Also, this Victini could help us out, but he can take prize cards with that. So if he knocked... Yeah, a little one Victini couldn't hurt, I guess. And then the plant. I'm also gonna smack that down because if he stamps us, don't want to draw into plants. And uh, this is going to be Altered Creation GX. The GX move that we can use right here. And uh, the only thing we need to do is like uh, follow that up with a crazy attack. I think we can survive one hit. He's gonna uh, sacrifice one Ms. Magius. Or actually one. If he sacrifices two, that's done. He can only use Ms. Magius once. Okay. And that 40 damage on the uh, Moltres Zabdos Articuno is pretty okay. He can like use Weezing and then target it down with a Great Catcher if he has that. Reset Stamp, yeah, as to be expected, we uh, knew this was coming. We have Great Catcher, a stamp of our own, and uh, yeah, we can just start using Ultimate Ray to get energies on our uh, other attacker here. Okay, we got a prize card. Ta -ta -ta -ta. It is Power Plant. Oh, not what I wanted to see here. We can uh, use Switch in combination with Mellow and Lana. That is an option. Still have another Cynthia and Catelyn, so at least we have more Mellow and Lanas to go with. 
Lieutenant Surge. Hmm. What is he gonna do? I wonder what he's gonna what he's up to. He can also uh, use the GG Ant, but we have a, a safe option here. Uh, thanks to Victini, we can get energies as well. And Green can get us the energy spinner. So I wonder. We have a safety net in the form of Victini, which is totally awesome. So even if he uses GG and GX, I'm not afraid too much since the only thing we're gonna do is attach energies to a bench Pokemon anyhow. Okay, he's he's going for a green. What will he get? So fun, YouTubers clash. The good news is that the GX move has already been activated and we're not behind too much here. We even got like one little sneaky prize card of Ms. Maggie's. He could stamp us to a low hand size, but the good news is if he uses another Ms. Maggie's, he's done for because we're gonna take an additional prize card after knocking out that tag team. And if he uses GG and GX, he doesn't take any prize cards, which is also a fun fact about this. Okay, he's really doubting what to get. And a team that Chum seems to be getting a whole lot of love. Uh, we've seen it working out with Malamar list. Now it's on its own with Ms. Magius and uh, the, even the Hong Kong players, if you haven't checked out the previous video, are using it with Weezing and Roxy. So Tina Chomp seems to be getting more expensive, get your hands on some of them while you still can, while they're still cheap because the price is gonna skyrocket sooner or later. Okay, green, uh, he doesn't get anything. Uh, what is going on here? Okay. That is very, 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 very strange. Okay, what to do? Uh, well, I'm gonna give one energy uh, onto our main guy here. Also, green is an option, uh, but I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for a green. It's not uh, hurting us too much here. We're gonna get, of course, well, not that we need it. Uh, stamp, uh, yeah, switch is good. And um, yeah, he just concedes. Okay, sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Didn't, didn't know what he was up to, but uh, looks like uh, the ADP bird stakes the victory here. We're gonna go again. See how we go. Uh, this ADP bird, I'm still figuring out. Smacking 240 damage, is that an option? Or is this just in here to just to smack 110 to treat targets? Is that the, the way to go? Sometimes using that GX move, sometimes using the other one. Or is it in here for the huge HP? 300 HP. Although it is still two shot at ball by a lot of Pokemon. We'll see. Let's see. Let's say he smacks 180 damage to us. We use Mallow and Lana, heal 60. Actually, heal 120, that means we have 60 HP. Then he smacks 180 again. Uh, yeah, we still survive that. So maybe that's why, because of the huge amount of HP. We'll see. Okay, Tails never fails, let's rock. Okay, let's go first. I always want to go first with a green deck so we can establish a great hand. Okay, we have a Victini. Looks pretty okay as a hand. We have green so we can find our fire energy. Uh, we have a Cynthia and Catelyn to follow it up. Um, and uh, typical uh, decks like uh, Malamar are a little bit on the slower side. So we have some uh, time on our hands. So first things first, I'm going to go with Tag Call. We're gonna get, do we get the Zapdos Articuno Moltres? Do we wanna do shot uh, 110 to a lot of targets? Do we wanna do that or do we gonna go for the classic ADP? Hmm, I wonder. I think classic ADP is probably better. Mm-hmm. Although smacking 110 on three targets is something I wanna test out here. So if we can get an energy here. Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, Malum Lana maybe? We have a green in hand, so... Two energy spinners right there. I think I want to go for 110 on a lot of targets. I think I'm gonna try this out. I don't know if I'll play correctly, but let's just test it out while we're at it. Let's get this. Gonna go for a green. With this green we grab an energy spinner, as well as... Hmm, do we get... Yeah, wait and see hammer is so fun to use, but it's not gonna be necessary in this particular matchup. Gonna get another greens exploration. Yeah, so we can get another energy spinner for next turn. And for now, I think I'm gonna go energy spinner, getting a fire energy, and uh, equipping it onto our Victini. I don't think I don't think he can one shot this Victini unless he has something. I don't know. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna bench it just yet. The reason why that is is that I don't want to get the Storchin damage on ourselves. So uh, the reasoning also is that now next turn we smack down our uh, bird trio, go for victory star, get energies onto this guy, and the turn after that we can use the GX move on three targets. Maybe that is the correct move. I don't know. We also shuffle ourselves back in the deck, so that's also pretty scary. Maybe getting ADP out is better in this scenario, but I want to test the bird trio. That's the only thing I want to showcase today, so if it works out and we can get rid of all the Malamars, I think we are already in a, in a step in the right direction. He has Jirachi, no supporter just yet. Our Victini is looking menacing. <laughs> oh yeah, Lily for 5, that is always a great option going first with your uh, Malamars. Yeah, get out all the NKs. I want to see them. I want to see all of them. Okay, maybe we should just go with Cynthia and Catelyn. We're definitely gonna draw an energy that way, but eh, green is probably better. We have so many options right now, so many supporters in hand. There are the three NKs that I want to target down. So Stellar Wish, if we can get this off on the second turn, it would be so fantastic. He can he can take the victory. I don't care at this point because he still needs to knock out two tag teams. And the tag teams we are gonna bring to the table are having a huge amount of HP, 300. And with Joyce Helmet, if he can get a GX attacker up and rolling, we still survive a huge amounts of hits. Okay, we even have a custom catcher to leave him stuck in the active. Could be a nice option because he already wasted one switch. No, he did not waste his switch. Okay, that's cool. No attachment of the turn. Ooh, he's gonna go loco. So let's get this smack down. We have an energy of the turn, which is fantastic. That means we can use the Victini here, victory sign. Probably still gonna get the energy spinner so we can get the correct one. And also custom catchers to leave him stuck while doing nothing. Maybe if he, he might have a switch in hand, but he burns a switch already. Hmm. What to do? Faba, interesting card. Pokemon communication, item lock. Item lock is also a, a way we can go about this. So many options with this deck. I'm gonna wait until there's a Malamar, but these guys will probably see the discard. Don't want him getting another Jirachi U, so I'm gonna go with an energy spinner. Energy spinner, getting ourselves a lightning energy, and then with the attack, we're getting a water, and uh, yeah, we can go from there. So, energy over here. And then we custom catch to slow him down, so he maybe has to waste the attach of the turn or whatever, or switch. And now, we might as well stamp him. Yeah, we're gonna stamp him. Why we're stamping him? Because he already has like good stuff in the hand. I don't want him getting out of this active position. So, victory sign, getting a fire. And a water, we still have a metal in the hand, which is fantastic. And we only have one retreat cost, so that GX move is drawing closer. Hell is Malamars will be gone. Yeah, uh, and this, uh, this deck does 110 damage to three of your opponent's Pokemon. Ooh, that's gonna hurt a lot. So getting rid of all his Malamars will be fantastic. If he has a switch card. Maybe he doesn't have a switch card. Maybe he has the attach of... Ah, simple Cynthia. So that reset stamp was legend. Okay, wasted the supporter. Will he get out of this position? Okay, he has acrobats. Mm-hmm. If our Victini survives, that would be fantastic. That means we can use it for... Oh, Viridian Forest. That is now a card that I adore so much since it's gonna help us out a lot. Okay. And also, we're gonna use Coach Trainer afterwards, so we're, we're gonna get a lot of energies and cards. Okay, there. Giratina gets one damage counter thanks to the Distortion Door. Will he get out of the active position? One energy to the Giratina. Does he have a Malamar? Whiff on the Malamars. He used so many resources early game. Communications. Okay, spell tag on that as well. Leave your uh, your Inke as it is. You're stuck. Yeah, that's what I talked about. All right, we have communication. We have lots of cards, actually. Uh, yeah, it's going to be an attachment of the turn here. Because we need, yeah, shovel. If he at least has one extra, the, yeah, that's all we need. We need this. Then I'm actually going to Cynthia and Catelyn first. Yeah, so we can get a green back. Probably the best bet. So, uh, yeah. Let's discard the communication. We don't want to use item lock at this point. So let's get this. Three cards. Tackle. That's also good. Fire energy. That fire energy is actually not bad. So we are going to retreat. Ta-da! We're going to go with tackle. 
because this guy will probably not run stamps. Let's get ADP up and rolling. Or maybe, yeah, ADP on this guy. It's good. Uh, maybe Viridian Forest is an option. Well, we already have an energy in hand on so many supporters, so I think I'm just gonna go for Sky Legends GX. That is what I wanted to showcase today. So this guy goes away, this guy goes away, and this guy goes away. No more Malamars! Ta-da! I think using the uh, Ultra Creation is also an option against a deck like this, but this will make sure that uh, the opponent cannot do anything. He has still needs more energies to go around, so maybe we should have smacked down the ADP, but I don't think this deck can smack 70. Unless this guy runs counter gain, then I will be uh, in shock. He still needs two attachments on this guy. And without Malamar, that ain't happening anytime soon. So we're probably, uh, maybe to play it safe, we should have smacked down the ADP. But yeah, that's it. Concede as it is. We're going to play one more round with our uh, Birds Trio shenanigans ADP. But I'm already liking the list. You have two routes you can go with against tag teams. Go with Ultra Creation against one prizers. Go with the Birds Trio smacking all the Malamars away. And uh, Victini makes it all possible, folks. So, uh, another round to go in. Round number three. Okay. What else might we come across on the Versus ladder? It is going to be... Fairy types? Oof. I wonder what this is. Even fighting types, fairy types, darkness types. Okay, it's probably going to be Guardian. With one Hoopa, one Amistar, and uh, hmm, I wonder. Could also be something else. It's Ricardo Pokemon. Okay, I like the name. So, combining Ricardo and Pokemon. <laughs> Ricardo Mon. A Fire Coin. And we won the coin flip. Okay, again, let's go first. Always want to go first in uh, a deck like this. And uh, we start with Cryogonal and Energy Spinner. Ooh, our hand is looking terrible. Hopefully we top deck a supporter or a... Okay, we got a mulligan. That helps out because this hand is looking ridiculous. Okay, this is an Oaks Lecture setup rare candy deck. Ooh, seeing rare candies and uh, having frozen lock in the active makes me smile a little bit. But we still have to worry about what else he might bring to the table. We have Wait and See Hammer. But that doesn't work in this scenario because we go first. If I only would have checked out my hand first. The opponent is selecting their starting Pokemon. Okay. We faced off against tag teams at one prizers, and now we're up against stage twos. V pretty versatile, won't you say? Okay, we have Victini. That's a nice way to start. We are at least <laughs> we're not gonna get dunked, that's for sure. Okay, let's smack energy spinners. So we are gonna tin the deck out. Fire energy for sure. Uh, we have more energies to go around there seems to be a bird trio prized there seems to be a stamp prized how many custom catchers are in here yeah there seems to be a custom catcher prize so we already have knowledge of half of the prize cards there's a greens prized okay and the coach trainer so yeah, lots of supporters prize so let's get this fire energy hopefully we'll be able to draw a supporter and uh yeah, let's get this water energy over here and let's smack down Victini. Yeah, he could go for the uh, Whirlpool Shuctions, which is fine by us. We have one retreat cost, so that I don't care about that. And that means we can put him in an item lock. Or go for uh, the Victory Sign, depending on if we draw something like a Tackle. Tackle will get us in a, yeah, a Pokemon. Oh, this is a Doll Stall deck? No. Is it? Is it a dull stall deck? Probably. That means we have to go for Cryogonal so we don't see any dolls. While we're at it, we simply attach energies to. Um, hmm, I wonder. He is probably gonna have that Sky Pillar up and rolling. But if we can get rid of the Sky Pillar, we can use uh, the Birch Trio to get rid of three targets at once. Probably the best answer. But getting Cryogonal in the active position is actually not a bad thing here. I love it already. Probably gonna be seeing Munchlax, Flabebe and Flabebe. Oh yeah, just what I wanted to see, some stall variants. <laughs> just when I thought I'd seen it all. Okay, Pidgeys. Pidgey Flabebe. Ooh. I wonder what this is. Pidgeotto Control? If it's a control deck, our energy will not last too long. We're also with Greens built, so I'm 
getting a little bit scared. Dolphin? Wow, wow, what was that Dolphin? Just wanted to check that. This is the most weird rogue deck ever. Or maybe the most genius one. Whirlpool Suction. Probably gonna be using that unless he doesn't get this guy out of the active position. Because I do think this guy has to be on the bench. Uh, yeah, it has to be on the bench, which is good. <clears throat> And we're gonna smack damage onto this uh, f only 10 damage so maybe getting our ADP altered creation GX is also not a bad option I wonder what is best in this scenario hmm we have no means of getting back our Kragonal we only have one so Munchlax if we don't see any dolls that's fine this is a mix here okay tails that's good so we have greens. Okay, that was a cool top deck. Green. We can have switch, attach of the turn and get energy so we can use ADP. Or do we go with the slower route? Hmm. Okay, green. Probably gonna be getting Deckle, that's for sure. As well as... We have custom catchers. Not that they're gonna help too much, but I'm gonna... Yeah, maybe power plant or maybe faba hmm so many options to go with i wonder if we should go for birch trio or uh ultra creation jacks ultra creation jacks takes two turns we still still have custom catchers so that is not a bad option actually let's get them both of them power plant tackle uh cynthia and catlin and I think ADP is probably better in this scenario. Only taking three KOs, we have custom catchers at our disposal and we have our item locker in the active, so. Yeah, that's gonna be it. So this guy here, metal energy over there. And yeah, you're just item locked. Just gonna slowly set this guy up while he's item locked. And with Cynthia and Catelyn, we get our greens back so we can use another energy spinner. Okay, Pidgeotto. Another Pidgeotto. The good news is, with item lock, we are safe. He cannot great catcher us, which is fantastic. He probably needs Rainbow Energy and Spirit Tomb to get rid of our uh, Kragonal, but with a deck filled with 40 cards, I don't think he's gonna get there anytime soon. Also, there's Tackle in this list. Very insane. I wonder what the Dauntin was for. Okay. Next turn, if we draw Water Energy, we can retreat, get Altered Creation up and rolling, and we should be good. And as soon as we get the ADP up and rolling, we can yes, custom catchers. There's still no uh, Florgus, and if we keep it that way, thanks to Frozen Lock, we don't have to worry about it too much. Maybe setting up the, the Bird Trio was not a bad idea. We could still go for that, for that actually. Hmm, what to do? So many options with this deck. Sometimes I don't know if I'm using the correct Pokemon in, in a deck like this. But getting Kragan on the active spot is always a great way to start against those uh, stall decks. Too bad it's playing with Pidgeotto. He's probably gonna get most of his deck soon. Hmm. Also, the damage on this guy can be irrelevant if he retreats it. Or Tate and Liza, or Mallow and Lana. There's a lot of ways he can go with this. So still, we still have a lot of switching cards in the format, now that I think about it. We have Switch, Mallow and Lana, as well as the, um, wow. You can still manual retreat as well. Okay, his bench, his bench lock right now. That means our Cryogonal will survive forever. Unless he has the energy and he retreats his Fionn. Fionn can then go, come in the, deck, in the deck, okay? Okay, tackle again, cool. Uh, this guy, Mellow and Llama, probably. Yeah, let's get these guys, Cynthia and Catelyn. We're gonna go with Cynthia and Catelyn. Now it's an easy task because we're gonna get rid of the uh, Wade and Sea Hammer. Yeah, getting the green back. Ta -ta -da. Come on, Water Energy. <laughs> we have a Metal Energy. Oh, that's sad. So sad. So wanna use this. Uh, Sky Legends GX move, but I think ADP is still better. Swooping three cards of his board. What is better though? 
Well, now that I'm at it, I still can attach fire energy because, yeah, why not? Yeah, I'm gonna attach the lightning energy to here. Frozen Lock. He can use State Eliza, Whirlpool Suction, Get, uh, but he cannot switch twice. Although he has Pre-Retreat on Munchlax, if he has a Rainbow Energy, Spirit Tomb, that means he can smack for... Yeah, he still needs it one turn in the active. Or actually, maybe if it's priced. We'll see. We have two targets here. Going for the GX move here. Or going for this GX move. Hmm. Either way. Getting multiple attackers up is probably good. <laughs> can always go for Victini getting energies, but... We'll see how it turns out. We still need to find a water energy. And that uh, Fio might cause a little bit of trouble, but we do have switching cards and Malo and Lama, so not too worried here. The greens will find us the custom catchers. And I'm probably gonna custom catch that uh, Florgus after we're uh, done. Pidgeotto's here, three Pidgeotto's. Isn't this deck a little bit like weak against spread? <laughs> Maybe the coughing and wheezing deck would like destroy this. Look at this. He's still stuck though, which is good. Okay, he has the energy. He's gonna retreat and then go for whirlpool suction, presumably. Still in an item lock. What is he gonna grab? More Flabebes. He can use Whirlpool Suction, smack down another Flabebe. He didn't see any dolls yet, which is hilarious. Yeah, he can get back the energy thanks to the Munchlax. Hmm. And do we see the energy? No, it's a Cynthia and Catelyn. Okay. Mellow and Lana is a way to go about this. I uh, think, yeah, green. Energy spinner, custom catch. Yeah, we still have so many stamps in the hand, so might as well get this rolling. I'm gonna go for one little stamp because he still has hanging on to so many cards. Just wanna do that often. Then we are gonna go with this. Gonna get that water energy. And then we retreat. Altered Creation GX. Okay, I think that's the best option. Now we need to take three chaos. And uh, seeing as his board position is right now, he only can take back I yeah, can only smack down one doll. We have already have custom catchers ready. Whirlpool suction, which is fine. We're gonna switch either way with green, so. Yeah, I'm gonna get this guy. Hmm, maybe we should have gotten Victini. Oh well, he's gonna smack. If he smacks damage, it's gonna be from a spirit tomb, so don't have to worry about it. We even have Mallow and Lana, which we can reuse with Cynthia and Callan. So we have so many switching cards. It's unreal. Okay, <laughs> order pads, very candy. Okay, Florgus is now live. That's cool. Do we see dolls? Have not seen a single doll yet. We also saw Donphan, which was very strange. Are these all evolved from Pidgeys? Presumably. Okay, Wondrous Gift. He's getting back. What is he getting back? It is order pad, so he's uh, still establishing his board. And he can get it immediately thanks to airmail. Okay, I, I love the synergy between that, but still. Your board is, can only be like one doll. Come on, get your doll. I'm ready for it. We're gonna cut. Yeah, here comes the doll. We're gonna custom catch and uh, destroy this Florgus. Yeah, I think Florgus is the one we should get. Only one doll. 
Come on, retreat to your doll and pass. We're up for you. Yeah, we can knock out this doll, but it's not gonna matter too much. Actually, we can knock it out with Krag and all. Hmm, interesting. Interesting indeed. Knocking the doll out with Krag and all. Steven's resolve. What is he gonna grab? Probably a, a way to answer Krag and all here. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna green. For the switch. There's one uh, of these cards prize, which is sad, so stamp, so I'm gonna stamp him again while we're at it. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. So we stamp to get rid of a Steven's Resolve. We're gonna switch to our ADP. And we're gonna custom catch this guy. So now we can still attach on the turn. Probably gonna get this energy over here. And then gonna go for Ultimate Ray. Okay, we get two prize cards and we can set up some energy. So I think I need a water energy, uh, fire energy, and maybe another water and lightning energy? Nah, water energy. Okay, water, fire, water. Fire. And another water. Yeah, this guy is ready to smack 240 damage to whatever's coming. Custom catch, that's fantastic. That is already a great start. And another switch. These cards are so irrelevant. Okay. Next up, uh, this guy has 60 HP, which is a little bit crazy. He can now smack another doll. The next, if he smacks down another doll, we knock it out with Krag and all. We'll see how we go from there. Yeah, we're gonna leave our last custom catchers for the KO. Now, now we're just gonna go with the uh, item lock. Because he's gonna get out Flabebe and that Flabebe will never be able to evolve. And if it evolves, we can, we can even custom catch that guy and knock it out. So no new dolls get established while we take the KO. Hmm, that's interesting. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna hunt for custom catchers and does his list even run custom catchers? I wonder. This is so funny. This is a, our bird trio being able to smack 240 damage, but this against this deck, it's not even necessary. We, now we need to take two KOs. If he promotes the doll, we knock that doll out. Spirit Tomb with an energy. There was also a Dolphin in the list. Probably gonna see... Ditto? I wonder. I have no idea. Okay, Flip Baby for, from 440 HP. Gonna leave our Custom Catchers in the hand. Uh, he cannot evolve that because we have Item Lock. And he's not gonna expect us to just retreat. We can retreat, but we're gonna switch. Mm-hmm. Cynthia and Gallon. Do we switch with Mellow and Lotto? Okay, now he's gonna end this turn with little munch legs. He's just looking at the tree like, hmm. I remember those days like in Diamond and Pearl, like you uh, got some honey on trees to just find yourself munch legs, which was extremely rare. Bryson man, oof. Wow, did not expect that. That means he uh, was almost able to get our custom catcher. Oof, scary. Very scary indeed. Luckily, we still have our Kragen all up and rolling. The only thing we need to do is like get our custom catcher to the hand. Hopefully we draw into a, a green. We still have two greens left. And he still doesn't know that we have like uh, one custom catcher from the prize cards. 
All right. What is he gonna get back? Yeah, he's probably gonna go crazy with the Braxy man to discard our entire deck. Hmm. Yeah, rare candy. That's cool. So, in that instance, I'm gonna go for the switch. And then uh, go for Cynthia and Catelyn and discard a power plant. Nah, the great catcher. I don't need that. We're gonna get back green so we can find that uh, custom catcher. Maybe we draw into it right now. Nope, we don't. Yeah, still so many energies in hand. Not gonna do anything because uh, we might need them to retreat or whatever. Yeah, frozen lock. Boom! Item locked again, which is fantastic. He uh, cannot play a doll, and if we can uh, then attack with ADP, we should be uh, able to win this game. And then, yeah, our Pokemon just set up for no particular reason. I wanted to showcase like a Sky Legend, but in this scenario, I think it's better to go with ADP and then Cragnall. Yeah, these stall decks are not as good as I remember. In the days they were better, but now Cryogonal seems to find its home in a lot of decks, and that means no items, no dolls, no hammers, no nothing. He can still find like Bellaba and Bryson Man again, and if we whiff on a custom catcher, that would be so sad. We definitely need to use green for our custom catcher. 16 cards in the deck, if he discards 3 of them. Oh, Lieutenant Surge is also back in the deck. Ooh, imagine if you can discard six cards. That's still ten cards left in the deck. Also, will he smack down Spirit Tomb to counter our... Yeah, oh wow, what is this? Choose a random card from your opponent's hand. Your opponent shuffle that card into the deck. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't get our custom catcher. That would be insane. A uh, Balaban Bryson Man? No, 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 no. Oh, huh, we dodged that. We dodge that. That's so scary, man. Now we still need to dodge that attack. Astonish. Don't get our custom catcher. Okay, it's the lightning energy. Woo! That was scary. So scary. Okay. Now that we know what uh, we're up against. So here comes the greens. Gonna get that custom catcher in the hand while we're at it. And also, uh, yeah. Tackle to increase our hand, although that is not an option. Yeah, I'm gonna go for another green here. Maybe Faba. Ah, Melon Lano. Ah, so we can still have a switch if he gets rid of one card. Okay, now we retreat and get rid of this guy. Ultimate Ray. Bam! And we have Custom Catcher in hand, so it should be good. Nope, not gonna attach energies. Could have attached energies here because he can now stamp us. He can do that. Does this list run even stamps? I don't know. Now we can smack down dolls again. The only thing we need is one simple green. Maybe we should have gone with the uh, attachments of the turn so we tune out the deck. We'll see. I don't remember the, these guys running, having space for stamp. Maybe one? One little doll, two custom catchers. They're both in the hand. There's nothing you can do except for stamp and pray. Wondrous Gift, Tails. Woohoo! What else? He has Spellpad in there and Belba and Bryson Man. It's not like Oranguru. He still needs to ha flip heads. And uh, if he uses flips here on the Munchlax, his turn ends, which is fantastic. He can promote. Okay, Lieutenant Search Strategy. Oh, no, no, no. What is he gonna do? What does he still have? Lots of air mills. I wonder if the air mill version is better. Ah. Getting multiple Florgas out seems to be better though. Palpat again. Lieutenant Surge and Balaban Bryson Man. Okay, Lusamine. Lusamine loops. Yeah, I forgot about those. It's been a while since we've seen some stall decks. It looks like uh, if everything goes well, there should be a triple victory with this amazing ADP Birch Trio deck. 
Lullabon, Bryson, man. Okay, sure. Not afraid of that at all. We only have eight cards left in the deck, but you only need custom catchers. Everything can attack. This guy can attack. This guy can't retreat because he has, doesn't have space for Absol. And uh, we even have Mallow and Lana to switch, so. Cynthia and Catelyn digging for Stamp, presumably. We have Poke Gears and two greens left. Or one green. Yeah, only one green. Ooh. Pretty scary if he should have a, sp a stamp in his deck. But with Pidgeotto and Florgus and Bunchlight, I don't think this guy has any space for that. He also has 10 cards left in the deck. Maybe he can deck himself out. Okay, there is the doll. Maybe he hopes that uh, we don't have custom catchers. Because we only gotten like one with greens. Okay, Snack Surge and that's it. Woo! We have this in the back. What is he gonna get with Snack Surge? Just curious. Hmm. Also, I'm gonna knock something out with our uh, Trinity Burn. Because it's in the deck. Alright. Bellabon Bryzman. Okay, he still wants the deck is out. Great option though. Okay, energy over here. Mallow and Lana for the switch. And uh, now we're gonna destroy that Munchlax like you've never seen before in your life with a Trinity Star. Trinity Burn, here goes! Zap those! Yeah! Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to demolish the like button, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you think about this new list. Peace out!